Oh, yippee! Come on, Albert. Jamie's doing a walkabout to the shops in the front today and is baking cakes and biscuits. Hello and welcome to my channel. Here at Jamie's Rock and Soul, I'm in the mood. Hang on. I'm in the mood for baking and caking. I'm drizzling some icing tonight. So, uh, where to go to get the baking products? Home bargains! Da, da, da. You da man. Jamie's Rock and Soul is going baking. My budget friendly recipes today. We've got the dough maker ready. Can I put a bit of self raising flour in there, bro? Spacious flat, all bills, £100 a week. Contact me in the comments if you're interested. What you need for this recipe is 3,000 tonnes of cocoa powder and plain flour and 3 million gallons of water. It came up for sale, viewers. You want to buy the Crazy Scots? It's just £750,000. We'll do the panoramic all the way around. There it is at the end. The one and only Home Bargains. Spring is in the air here at Home Bargains. If you have hay fever, please look away now. Walking into Home Bargains like a boss. Let's go find some baking stuff. So we've found the baking section, viewers. Let's have a look what we've got and what I can come up with. I'm going to sit down and contemplate what I'm going to bake tonight and admire these beautiful views and have my home bargains meal deal. Look at this. Six bags, a pound, a pound, 49p, £1.25. <laughs> Look at that for a cheap meal deal to enjoy the Irish Ocean with. Six bags, a pound, a pound, 49p, £1.25. <laughs> Look at that for a cheap meal deal to enjoy. Come and relax. Oh, did you hear that cheapness? 49p? <laughs> nice couple walking past i wonder if they would like a cake viewers we've had this problem before haven't we where i can't even give away a cake subscribers what are we gonna do hello would you and your lovely wife like a free cake it does accompany the irish ocean very well and it's a uh, almond mr kipling i'll definitely eat them mm, one pound Cheddar cheese sandwich. Mm, I love the bargain. <clears throat> Six bags for a pound. What a bargain. When I can be myself, be one with nature, and do the thing I have a passion for. Well, that's my wonderful lunch done. Uh, and when you come to our town, viewers, don't forget, get rid of your crap in the bins. Okay, I've had my enjoyment. Let's get to the kitchen now. Let's go home and bake some cake. So before you throw those half-eaten burger baps in the bin, just remember, there's always a hungry mouth right here in Blackpool. And they're always grateful. Look at this one here. Loving a bit of cake. I wish it was my home baking, mate, but you'll have to wait till next time. All right, my little friend. I wish I could stay all day, but you're going to have to fend for yourself now. Take good care, my brother. Only when you feel like one with nature do you truly understand how remarkable it all is. Should we have one last look at this beautiful backdrop? You want a picture postcard? There you go. Heaven's over there, look.
first job. Get the oven set for 200 degrees. Okay, so firstly, we're gonna make some pastry biscuits. Okay, so we've got 450 grams of short crust pastry. We're gonna be adding about 15, 30, about 50 grams of sugar and 120 milliliters of water. And we're gonna form that into a dough and we're gonna roll it out. there it is <clears throat> now it's time to make some shapes okay now the last job for putting them in the oven don't worry I've got clean hands a uh, bit of egg yolk with a tiny bit of water rubbed in uh, so that they come out nice and golden brown and sweet you can always sprinkle sugar on them after they're cooked or little bits and baps. I've got some little sweetie sort of like uh, rainbow drops and stuff like that that you can put on them if you want to decorate them. Or you can just leave them as they are. They're equally as tasty. Okay, let's get them in the oven now. They're only going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. So keep an eye on them. 200 remember. I'm going to move on to the next bit of baking. Chocolate sponge. I need 120 mils of water, two medium eggs, 400 grams of mix, and we're going to make a nice dough out of that right now. We've got two eggs in there, 120 mils of water. Uh, if you've got an electric mixer, brilliant. But if you haven't, you're going to need about two minutes to do this. So we're just going to form it into a nice, doughy, soft, Sort of pasty batter we're going to grease a couple of these tins and we're going to make um, some chocolate loaves this time don't forget all this ingredients with the eggs come in at about a fiver so i've greased a couple of tins there and we're just going to pour our mixture into these tins beautiful so we're going to make two big loaves out of this one don't go over halfway on there or you might have a chocolate loaf explosion I don't know about you but when my kids were little they used to wait for the spoon <laughs> or the whisk with the lovely flavours in it okay they're done okay we're gonna wait for the biscuits to finish they're gonna go in the oven at 170 degrees for about 20 minutes you know the old test after 20 minutes stick a knife in the middle if it comes out clear uh, they are cooked we've got 300 grams of scone mix 125 mils of milk one medium size egg and a cutter for whichever shape you would like them. We're gonna form that into a dough, just like uh, with the biscuits and uh, on a floured surface, make some scone shapes. Stir for about two minutes, form it into a dough and then knead it into a soft dough ready for rolling. Roll that, we're just gonna cut some Love Art shaped scones out now. So that's the biscuits done. Now onto the scones and the uh, chocolate loaves. They're gonna go in, we've turned the heat down a little bit to 170. They're gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's the biscuits done. Can you read viewers? <laughs> Subscribe. They're quite thick as well and I will admit I've just tasted one and they're so sweet and lovely and golden. Okay. The scones are done. They'll be lovely cut in half with some jam and cream in the middle. Mmm. Yum yum just the chocolate cakes to go now and uh i still got half the mixture left so in actual effect it's probably coming at about three quid for all this baking turn your cooker on get a bit of flour find an easy recipe make a cake and there's the scones complete with jam and cream look how delicious they look in the shape of love hearts mm. There you have it, my wonderful viewers. We have made scones with a tiger design that don't look much like a tiger, but hey ho, with jam and cream. We made some uh, Danish short crust tasty nibbles with caster sugar 
and uh, water and icing again and then we made our chocolate loaves this all comes in at under a fiver it's a baking extravaganza the insides of my perfectly cooked chocolate cake look at that the proofs in the testing so there you have it subscribers and new viewers as well oh, nice coffee and a beautiful homemade scone with jam and cream mm. Mm. that was good hope you enjoyed my little bacon extravaganza excuse me if you did enjoy it hit like subscribe and get the notification bell I look forward to more regular updates only here on Jamie's Rock and Soul Love yous.